Hi there, Sophie Angel, and welcome to my monthly tarot code for Leo. This is for the month of February. Okay, Leo, for this month, it looks like there's a lie that is actually about to be discovered or about to be unfolded into your family. You'll also be meeting someone new. There's a new person that's going to come into your life, but it's not really for a long term. And you'll be receiving money, but you'll be acting a little bit hasty. Anyway, let's get down to details. Looks like there is someone who's actually hiding something or lying or conniving or committing it to something that is uh, either against your rules, against your family tradition, against your family culture. But either way, there is a lie that is about to be unfolded, which will cause not really chaos, but a commotion to your family. And it seems like it's going to be bothering them now um everything is waiting to be unfold and it's not yet time it should be around the first week or second week of february and your family will be so concerned about it or it's either that you're actually covering up for someone but either way that secret will be revealed this month okay middle of this month february there is someone that you have been wishing to be with, someone that you really, really like, someone who, who, be, who you've been dreaming to be with, which is a water sign young man who will come into your life finally for a relationship. But just remember that this water sign person, this knight, is actually just good at the beginning, good for wooing, good while the courtship stage is still hot, and good while the relationship is still new. But then later on, right in the middle, he will just stop and say, hmm, okay, the fun is over. I want to, uh, I want to woo someone again. This man is very emotional, egocentric, all about what she wants. And this is more likely Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio young man. Very brave, uh, very aggressive, and romantic. So don't get, uh, get carried away with the sweet talkings and everything. Also, you'll be very well secured right in the middle of the month and uh, you'll be receiving money. Plus, money again at the end of the month. You'll be getting something that you have been waiting for, something that you've been longing for. It's all about the money. There's also a part like a money or inheritance or like a share from a family business or family heirloom that you're waiting to be given to you and you will be getting it this month. Just don't be too stubborn. Be thankful with what will be given to you because I feel like you won't really like what will be given to you. It's like you want to, fi to fight for something higher or bigger or, you know, you won't be contented with, no, I, I don't want 1%. I don't want 7%. I want more. I want 20% or 50%. Okay? Now, whatever that share is or whatever that money that's going to come from your family or something that you have been waiting for for you it won't be enough and don't be too overly indulgent don't um because the reason why you're acting like this is you've already counted uh the chicks while the eggs aren't really hatched so you've already looked forward that okay this is what i'm going to get and you've already pre-calculated and then when the time comes that it has been given to you it's like oh okay this is not what i have counted this is not what i have calculated that's why you've been acting so stubborn so um be realistic with your goals be realistic with your expectations because there are also some other people in your family who also needs to be shared you know now it seems like someone someone will be rocking your world right in the middle of the month and you will be immensely happy you will be so in love you will be so like over the top on a cloud nine and it's like you are you feel so beautiful you feel so sassy and hot that someone so young is actually wooing you but just to remember that this kind of person in this relationship isn't really going to last long this is only for a diversion this is only for like a you know like a valentine theme but it's not really meant to last Anyway, let's go. Let's get down to your relationship article cards and let's see what's in store for you and what should you know. Anyway, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, this is just an in, uh, in general reading. If you want to have an in depth and personalized readings, you can go to my website at sophiaangel.net and you may contact me there directly for only one 
0.99 a minute. Alright. Now let's see. Perspective. Hmm. Regret. Projection. Oh. You have to set um, realistic goals to your life, especially in terms of relationship. As I've said that there is someone young who is a water sign that's going to come into your life and it's uh, the person's going to woo you. But you have to, like for example, you're already right in the middle of your age or you're already in your 40s and you still feel so young and vibrant and everything. But then at the same time, be also mindful of the consequences of being with someone so young. First off, especially if that person is really immature, selfish, and they only want to get what they want. They're only after what they want. So, you have to start picturing yourself with the right one, with the right person, instead of just loathing it. Oh my God, I feel so beautiful because someone so young is wooing me, you know. It feels so good to be courted by someone that is really charming. But at the same time, look at the, uh, the consequences and the longevity of that. If it's going to last long, if it's worth it, um, if it's worth investing your time, your effort, and your emotions. However, if you know that it's uh, not really going anywhere, then don't really waste your time on it. Um, well, you can have sex if you want. You can be open about it, but then don't get involved with someone in a relationship that you know is not really going to pan out well. It's not really going to last long that, and that they are not really going to stay. It's like, I love, you to, I love you today and goodbye tomorrow. All right. Uh, you have to be realistic in a relationship this month, especially if you're not getting any younger. You have to look for a long-term companionship, not just for a uh, like a like an overnight lover. All right. Anyway, so that's it for you for this month. And if you do have any other questions, you can uh, go straight to my website, and you can just um, use the contact me page there. And if you also want to book for a reading for me, you may contact me there directly at sophieangel.net. All right. See you next month.